Hello and welcome back to Crazy Hank TV. Today I want to talk about the long-running series Gunsmoke that ran from 1955 to 1975 for a total of 635 episodes. There were only two actors that were in every season and that was Melbourne Stone who played Doc the Cranky One and James Arness as Matt Dillon. James Arness was a perfect choice for Matt Dillon. He was six foot seven. He was an intimidating guy. And Matt Dillon was an intimidating person. He was the marshal. He ran Dodge. He would, if he didn't like you, he'd say, get out of Dodge. Yeah, that's where it came from. Another thing about James Arnaz, when the show went from black and white to color, he had the same outfit every episode. Now, I know he's a big guy, and it's the Old West. They didn't have clothes, you know. They didn't have a gap. They could go get new clothes. He had like a tan white pants. He had a burgundy shirt, kind of like, you know, it was. I'm, I'm going with that color. And then he had a vest. Now, dude was shot a lot. He would always get shot in the arm, rip his shirt apart. He would get in fights, rip his shirt apart. Pants would be dirty. But yet, next episode, he's wearing the same outfit. I don't know what it was. I don't know if he wore the same outfit in black and white. It's hard to tell because, you know, it's black and white, not color. But I'm doing a rewatch right now on Paramount Plus. And I've noticed, I started with the color episodes, I noticed that he wears the same outfit every single episode. Which is cool. I'm cool with it. I like James Arness. Side note, Peter Graves, who was in Mission Impossible, also the airplane movie, he plays the crazy pilot, is his brother. They're brothers. Now, on, on Gunsmoke... They have a lot of the same actors playing different characters. Now, you could have an actor playing someone one episode, and the next episode, they're playing someone else. I, it, I guess back in the day, they didn't care. There wasn't the internet where you could talk about say, hey, why is Gunsmoke using the same actor over and over again? Victor French was in 18 different episodes, but he's in a lot of episodes back to back to back. Burt Reynolds appeared on Gunsmoke as a regular from 1962 to 1965. 50 episodes. He played Quint the Blacksmith. Left on to greater and bigger things. Probably the biggest star to come out of Gunsmoke, even though there were a lot of stars. John Voight was in three separate episodes as a guest star. Dennis Weaver played Chester Good for 290 episodes from 1955 to 1964. Here's something I find interesting. Jonathan Goldsmith was in 14 different episodes. He usually played a bad guy, but on those Dasecki commercials, the beer commercials, he was the most interesting man in the world. Yes, Jonathan Goldsmith was the most interesting man in the world. You see Miss Kitty in a stagecoach, get out. Move on because something bad is going to happen. Every time Miss Kitty is in a stagecoach, something bad happens. So you need to get out of there. Gary Busey was the last man killed in the series. The last man killed in the series. Morgan Woodward was a guest star in 18 different episodes. Sometimes he was a good guy. Sometimes he was a bad guy. Honestly, I thought it was more than 18 because he seems to be in a lot of episodes back to back to back. And also I want to point out uh, Miss Kitty was played by Amanda Blake. Very strong female character. And of course they always hint between her and Matt hooking up, being a couple, being, you know, more than just friends. But they never kissed. In all those years, they never kissed. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Subscribe, like this video, all that fun stuff. And I'll be back later on. Bye everybody.